Let's say that we were looking at the income statements for two different companies. So we've got ABC Industries and this XYZ company, and we wanted to predict, we wanted to see if, if there was a 10% increase in sales, right? So each of them are at 200,000 in sales right now. If sales increased by 10%, what would be the effect on each firm's profitability, the bottom line, in this case, net operating income? So if we just bump this 10%, what happens here? Is there a way that we can determine or predict what that would be without having to build uh, an entirely new set of income statements? And, and as it turns out, the answer is yes. And it's something called degree of operating leverage is this multiplier that we can calculate that's going to allow us to do just that. So degree of operating leverage, which we can also abbreviate as, as DOL, a degree of operating leverage is computed by taking the contribution margin which above that's just our sales minus our variable cost that's going to give us the contribution margin we take that that contribution margin and we divide it by the bottom line by net operating income and that's going to give us a number which is basically a multiplier um, so let me before I talk about applying that multiplier let's just go ahead and calculate this out so the DOL for ABC Industries would be this 135,000 divided by the 5,000 Right? So if you do the math there, that's going to be 27. So what does that mean? Well, that means that, now again, we had talked about if there was a 10% increase in sales. So if 10% increase in sales, then what, do we, then what does this tell us? Well, it tells us we take that 27 and multiply it by that 10%. So it's telling us that there would be a 270% increase in profits in this right here that operating income would go up 270 percent if there was an increase of 10 percent in sales for ABC Industries now XYZ company is going to be different let's take a look at XYZ company we're taking again we've got the pro, uh, contribution margin divided by net operating income so that's 120,000 divided by 40,000 and that's going to give us a DOL a degree of operating leverage of three Right, 120,000 divided by 40,000 is 3. And now, again, we come back to this. We're assuming that there's a 10% increase in sales, and we're saying, okay, how can we use this 3 to tell us what would happen to the profitability uh, given that 10% increase in sales? So we take the percentage increase in sales, and we multiply it by our DOL. So we basically just have 3 times 10. So that's going to give us 30%. 30%. So what this means is that based on these, these DOL figures that we have here, if there's a 10% increase in sales for each firm, right? So they're, they're starting at $200,000 in sales, but they have a different degree of operating leverage for each firm, right? So each firm is going to be affected differently by this 10% increase in sales, right? And actually it's going to have a huge impact on the profitability of ABC Industries. That profitability is going to go up 270%. And then XYZ Company is just going to go up 30%. You might say, hey, that's weird. They both have the same amount of sales. Why, if we change the percentage of sales for each one by the same amount, would the profitability uh, be affected differently in each case by a different percent? And so the, the kind of the idea behind this degree of operating leverage uh, is that when a firm is closer to its break-even point uh, and then we have an increase in sales, that's going to have a bigger effect on the bottom line, on this net operating income number. And we see that right here, basically ABC Industries, uh, they're very close to breaking even, right? They Right now they only have 5000 in net operating income, whereas XYZ Company has 40000 in profit. So ABC is a lot closer to the break-even point. So the closer you are to the break-even point, the more an impact uh, that an increase in sales is going to have on your profitability. And then as you go up, as you get to that break-even point and then go above that and you get your profitability higher and higher, uh, then actually the DOL, it, it's, not, it's not static. It, it, or, well, DOL is basically going to change, right? So the DOL is going to change. So let's just put this here. This is a very important. DOL is not constant, right? 
as sales and profits continue to increase, right? As this, so let's say this this goes from five thousand to to fifty thousand or to a hundred thousand um, as as sales increase, right? The sales just keep increasing and increasing. What's going to happen is the DOL is going to start decreasing because now you're getting further and further away from the break-even point. And as you get further from the break-even point, each incremental increase in sales is going to have less and less of an impact on the bottom line.